We are going to take up today the B and the present tense in question form. Now, if you remember when we did this lesson on the declarative sentences, you had the subject, the verb, and then the, the question or uh, the statement you wanted to make. As a review, we'll take a look at the be in the present tense, the subject verb. There you have I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are. Okay. Now if we take a look at the question form. We see the difference here. We have the verb in front of the subject. Like you can say am. I that am I beautiful whatever you're referring to you're asking a question about is in this area <clears throat> so let's take a look and let's go down and take a look at these uh, verb forms and the question form am I are you is he, is she, is it, are we, are you, are you, they. These are in the question form. And uh, if you make a yes or no question like, am I beautiful? And the answer would be, yes, you are beautiful. We use the declarative form, you are beautiful. Okay, so to make a question with the verb be in the present tense, begin with the verb, and the verb matches the subject. So if the subject is I, the verb, be, is am. Am I a teacher? If the subject is you, the verb be goes first. Are you a student? Remember that this is the verb be, just as this is the verb be, this is the verb be. If the subject is he, she, or it, the form uh, the verb be takes is is. Is he a student? Is she a student? These are all singular. To make the plural, if the subject is we, use the verb be. Here, are. Are we online? Are we on the internet? If the subject is you, this is a plural form for you. Here's the verb be. Are you students? And if the subject is they, the verb be is also are. Are they here? Are they online? Are they at school? Don't forget to end each question with the question mark at the end. We have the examples of uh, the questions in various tenses. The first one, am I a teacher? 
the answer would be, yes, you are. Are you a student? The answer would be, yes, I am. Is he a student? The answer would be, yes, he is. Is she a student? The answer is, yes, she is. Is this a house? The answer is, yes, it is. Are we people? The answer is, yes, you are. Yes, we are. It depends on who, on who is asking the question. Here we have, are you workers? And the answer is, yes, we are. Are they a family? The answer is, yes, they are. Now that we know about questions in the B form, here is a little exam for you. Here you can see the directions here. Create each, each question with the verb be in the present tense. Uh, as a, an example, I'll give you the first one. The question would be, are you a student? Now what you need to do is stop this and uh, on a separate piece of paper to fill in the answers. I will move it down for the other parts of that, but you can stop it here. Here we have more, and this one is the complete each question with the verb be in the present tense. Uh, and these uh, are questions with uh, auxiliary verb. Where am I? I'm telling you the first one. And when you have where, when, why, how, that begins a question and it's in the same form as where am I. Okay, so fill those in. Here we have uh, questions here and here we're asked to put in the proper pronoun for this. and. Uh, here we have is a woman, and you have to ask the question. Ask the question: uh, Is she at work? Here we put the pronoun in. Here it goes in there. Is she at work? Now pause it and answer these questions. In this part, we're asked to make a question. You don't have anything to fill in. You just write a question in here. And this first one might be, is it a clock? Or you can say, is this a clock? Okay, so make the question and pause it, write your answer. Here we have the answers. You can check your answers. Here we have the answers in the first part. The questions here. And this is part B. Here are the answers. As I say, you can just stop the uh, video and check your answers. Here we have the answers uh, for Part C. And in this one, you made up your own questions. Uh, you know, it's difficult to give you, you know, to give you the answers is because they are of your own creation. Okay? So this completes our uh, video on asking questions and the B verb and the present tense.